Okay, pretty sure you're not supposed to be up here. <laughs> but it's fun nonetheless. Let's get down. So I need to get up there, which means I need to jump off of it, I suppose? Let's loop around, see what we got to work with. Hmm. Looks like you can drop one of those brain balls in that hole. I'm not actually sure what disabling this thing would do, though. But nonetheless, it does seem to be what I need to do, so let's do it. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, here we go. That was quick. Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, objects pick up automatically if you step near them. So, if you're looking around and you hit it with your toes, it'd be whoop. It's a little bit startling. And in the hole you go. Never mind. In the hole you go. There we go. Okay. Oh, is it going to launch me? You going to launch me? Aha. There's even a portal thing there. Oh, wait, that's where I came from, isn't it? Oh, pff, it is. Oh, look at this canyon. There was again her drawing. Ever present, always guiding me, Sophia. I could see it almost as clearly as the first time. So close, yet so far away. I must have faith, I told myself repeatedly. I had to, for her. So we're moving ever closer to the tree. And again, the Talamus was heartlessly snatched out of my reach, and with it, my redemption. No matter. She would guide me. It's getting awfully thick. A single beam of light shone through the dense mist. When something like that happens, what are you supposed to do but follow it? It was textbook storytelling, really. I hear a noise, too. Almost like an animal calling or something. Towards the light we go. Oh, hey, can I activate something here? Yes. Okay, there's some portals up there. Okay, I need a ball. Gotta get my BB. Okay, so they're up on those mountains over there. Or hills, rather. It's basically a lighthouse, it seems like. There's another one to the right, but it's not giving off light.
Oh, look at this old tree. It's all split apart. Almost like there's something living inside of it and it clawed its way out. Ripping apart its host. That's not a pleasant thought. Let's stop thinking about that. Alright, so there's a portal there, so I do need a ball. Question is, where would I find one? Nothing to do but aimlessly wander around, I guess. Son, I love you. But please don't shine so brightly in my face. Okay, yeah, that's the edge. Ooh, is that one? I think that's one. Eh, eh, eh? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, there we go. I was going to say it disabled the lighthouse, but it also disabled the fog, so you don't even need it. That music is beautiful. Let's just take a second here. That is just gorgeous. Okay, so this causes rain. I can even see on the stones themselves they're dripping water. Okay, so I think I need two of these. One to make the portals work, and then another to, I think, probably make it so I can get from one portal to the other, because I think those need to be raised up. We'll see. Let's try this first. Okay, so now they work. Um, I could potentially just jump up that hill, but let's uh, go over here. This is most likely what you're supposed to do. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so these things raise up if it's raining. So if I want to get to the next one, I do need water. Hmm, what is this stuff? It's like, uh, scraps of wood? Broken? It's like an old, battered, and... kind of ruined desk. Hmm. I wonder if it's Sophia's. Okay, so where's the other orb? Or perhaps I don't need to? How could I do this with one? If it does just need one, how could I do it with one? Oh, wait a minute. There's another orb right up there, isn't there? Oh, there it is. Never mind. No need. So pretty. Glowing. I bet it's warm. Gently warm.
There we go. My pathway has assembled itself. Damn it. I'm guessing this portal was specifically made for people that fell off. Wait, where am I? I don't even know where they just took me. Hm. I think it might have been over there. Myself, it is at night that we value the sun, finding the light in the dark, a source of light. See if this makes it daylight. Okay. So yeah, it seems like they always do the same thing. Like these flowers make it nighttime, the rocks make it rain, and... The trees make the things go away. Or I suppose I should say it makes them suck in their wind. Because sometimes you don't really want them to go away, not permanently anyway. Okay. So everything's getting more complex. We're getting more... Bye! Um, we're getting more <laughs> building blocks, so to speak. And now I know how those wooden things respond to rain. Portal. Could make it rain. Um, that would allow me to get to the portal, but then I would need the portals to be activated. Which means I would need two. Okay, come back here. I wonder if these things always glow at night, because if they do, then I can make it nighttime and then use that to find them. Because there's got to be more than one, I think. Go, be free! Well, it makes it foggy, too. Yeah, I'm not sure how much of a help that is, but uh, there is a portal here, I think. Maybe I can reach it. I'm not actually sure how far up there it is. Doesn't... No, yeah, I can definitely reach that. No problem. Okay, so that's going to take me somewhere over there. Perhaps there is another brain ball up here? Hmm? Doesn't seem so. Okay, that didn't help much. Come here, my friend. It's time to find greener pastures. 
Actually, this pasture is pretty damn green. Hmm. Is there no way I can do this with one? No, there's probably another one. Suppose I should just look around. Let's go ahead and make it rain. Oh, here we go. I think there's one over here. Or perhaps it's just somewhere to put one. Okay, that activates the fog. I'm not sure why I would want fog. Yeah, why would I want fog? There's gotta be a reason. There's a bunch of stuff I can do, but I only have one brain ball, so I can only activate one permanently and a second one temporarily if I stand inside of it. I suppose I can cheese my way up here. Can you actually do that? Uh. Can you, can you seriously? Wow. You, could you actually solve the puzzle that way? Uh, I wouldn't want to, but. It kind of looks like you can. That would be extremely cheap. Okay, there is actually another portal. Because I went through that one and it took me up there. And then, where did it put me out at? Maybe it put me out over there, but there is another portal over there and I want to try it. Gotta have something to do with the fog, though. Actually, maybe that portal is not activated. I don't see a glow. Oh wait, no. No, I see one. Holy crap, that's bright. I almost want to see if I can just go up there and solve the puzzle by doing that. But it would be so cheap. I'm just kind of curious. Is this the beginning? 
No, this is down here. Okay, well, let's go make fog and see what the heck that does when it's nighttime. Can it get foggier than it already is? It's already pretty damn foggy. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. So the glowy things sometimes only come out at night. Or the fact that it got foggy when I made it nighttime indicates that there is one hiding here? Is that what it's trying to teach me? Because now this will get rid of the fog, but it'll still be nighttime, right? Okay. So it only shows up at night. Hmm. I wonder if this would disappear if I made it daytime. Interesting. Okay, well, since I did solve the puzzle, I do want to see if I can cheese the victory. Because I know what to do. I've already done it. Everything except the platforming. So, I'm going to get this in here, but then I'm going to see if I can just run up the side of the mountain and do that. Because I'm really curious. I have to know. I just have to know. You can. You actually can. Okay, it's still nighttime, which means there's got to be a ball in one of these fields of flowers, right? Oh god, there's so many portals. <gasps> I'm gonna get so confused. I don't even know where these lead. I think if you stay still, maybe that's when they show you. Let's well, stay still. Guide me. I said guide me. <clears throat> okay. Do they just show you where they lead, like, randomly, or do you have to do something in particular? Is it just when they feel like it? Maybe they're on lunch break. Oh, hi. Well, if I take you, we're gonna have some problems. Unless... Oh, maybe there's another place that has a ball. Okay, so I can take this one, but what am I doing with it? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Such calamity and destruction lay before me, held up by no discernible force. I was in awe for the first time since I came into this world. True awe. The kind only God can command. Was this his work, then? I didn't know at the time, but I would indeed meet the power behind this creation. Well, given that it's your own mind, I would say you're the one who created it. Oh, it does disappear when it becomes daytime. So if I want that extra ball, I'm going to have to leave this here.
Did I just walk here for no reason? Because there's a wooden bridge here. Hmm. I can't see anything. This bowl is so big. Get, get this huge ball out of my face. Oh, right. Um, hmm. How in the hell? Okay, well, I can't put that on a timer. That's for sure. So... Uh... Huh? Well... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Wait just a second. I think I know what to do. I think I just learned something about the behavior of these balls when it becomes daytime. So they disappear. These, these night balls... <laughs> it just sounds ridiculous. Night balls, brain balls, balls in my face. Um, anyway. The night balls disappear when it becomes daytime. But perhaps their location does not reset. Which means I can toggle it on and off. And I can do that right here. Aha! And it just so happens this is a slope. Be free, my ball. Sweet. God, look at this. I guess we go down here. Yep, here we go. Hmm. Now through here or through this one? I haven't the faintest clue. Oh, look at that. I probably need to get need to get there. Bingo. Look at my orbs just smashed. Okay, it looks like it's continually sucking in and blowing. Okay. So... Or wait, maybe not? Oh no, it's because I was standing in this thing, of course. Can I get to it in time? No. So I need a ball. And there's a ball. Maybe I don't need to be blown by it. Maybe I just need to stand in here? Okay. Or perhaps... I need to roll it down there. Will I stay here? Okay, that pressed it away. So, what if I put it... Whoa! 
Okay, I guess it can't rest against it. Let's try that again. No, it cannot. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm not sure my end goal here is... Is it just to get back through the portal? Well, if it is, then I just need to do this. And then I'm good. Oh, that was it. Okay, cool. Oh, pretty forest. Yes. I'm in a forest in the clouds. Look at this. You know, this game actually reminds me a lot of Mist in terms of the environmental, I, I guess, designs? Just the environments remind me a lot of Mist for some reason. Not that Mist ever took place on floating islands in the sky. I, actually, maybe it did. I don't actually remember. But there's just something about their fantastical nature that reminds me of Mist. Looks like these are probably more, well, maybe more invisible pathways. Although there's no reflections to see them in, so maybe not. Let's see. No? Got a brain ball. And so it was that I finally saw the inner workings of infinity. I didn't stand still. I took the reins of the Gears of Time. Gears of Time. Let's slowly spin on a Gear of Time. Whoa, has it... Did it just, like, change seasons? I guess it's just because the sun is setting, but everything is very red now. Alright, did this actually do something? Hmm. Oh, whoa, what the... I guess I did, like, turn back time or something. Just by standing at the gears? Oh, it just disappeared. Okay, so it's a new spot, just like the others. Comes back into existence. Reverses time. <laughs> Look at that. How strange. Just floating gears, moving ever so gently. Another forest. There was a definite tree motif going on. That much was obvious. The Talamus should have clued me in from the start. It's difficult to miss such a ridiculously ginormous tree. This pattern could be just as random as many other things in this crazy world. But, no. I knew that wasn't the case. I climbed that tree and survived the tsunami. Sophia stayed in the swing set, and I didn't help her climb. It was so fast. Had I blinked, I wouldn't have been able to see the water violently swallow her whole. I didn't blink. Did he just say ginormous? 
I don't think I can take him seriously anymore. He just said ginormous. Didn't you know that word was banned in, like, 2004? You know what I find strange, though? Is that it seems like everything is set up as him dealing with his guilt over what happened when he was young with his sister, Sophia, not with his daughter. Like, there's been almost no focus on his daughter. Which is a bit strange. You'd think that would be fresher in his mind. Because it just happened. Hmm. Alright, so what did being here change? <sighs> Look at how lovely that is, the way it... Whoa. Okay, that's kind of creepy. Please change. Change back. Hello? Why didn't you change? Why is it still night time? Don't exactly like being in a forest at night. There's a freaking invisible wall here. Yeah, I think there's the fence pegs or whatever in the ground. They're just hard to see. Come here. Hmm. Wait, there's two portals. There's more than two. Wait, which one did I even come from? It had to have been this one, right? Okay, this one makes the bridge come into existence. Okay. The bridge will take me somewhere up there. Ooh, there's a little river. Ooh, a river. Oh my. This place is very, very large. Okay, so this is what is making it nighttime. Come here, you little rascal. Okay, now I can actually see. Look at that vibrant reddish orange. Beautiful. And the birds. Bird song. So I wonder if that's my end goal up there. Let me see if I can get up there. Okay, so you can just step up here, but the portal's in the way, obviously. Unless I could jump around. And there's an invisible wall there, okay. Back to the beginning. Okay, let's see. No, that's not gonna work. Um... I was thinking of taking it from the nighttime place, from the flower bed, and bringing it up there and then kind of like tossing it down to it. Because I need to get through the portal place without the portal being there, and then walk up there, and then actually activate it, and then go through the portal. So I need to toggle the portals on and off. I need to toggle nighttime. What about this up here?
Can't get up there. That was a very, very long pathway. I need to find out where it actually goes. Because maybe that's the portal I need to get to. Okay, so that... That's another portal. So yeah, it goes from portal to portal. And this was the portal I was originally thinking of going through. And I can get up there, of course, but actually making it nighttime is another matter. Maybe once I'm up here, a way will show itself. Uh, no. <laughs> A way did not show itself. Crap. Is there any way for it to... Is there any way for it to very, 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 very slowly roll? You know what, maybe I need a nighttime one. Can I get a nighttime one? Would that work? Toggling nighttime on and off. Well no, you need to you need to toggle nighttime on and off to get a nighttime one in the first place. That no, that doesn't make any sense. Let's see. Mm. No, it's gonna have to be a hell of a lot more slow than that. No, this is not going to work. You have at most, like, five seconds. Let's just see where these lead. Let's see if I can find one that does not take me back to the beginning. Actually, can I reach any others? This might be the only ones I can reach. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, so what does this spot actually activate? Because I don't have anything here. Maybe. Maybe I should try that. So let's try it. So there's one nighttime place and two gear places. Already got this one covered. That makes that whole pillar place materialize. This one is not covered. What does that do? The results are not immediately obvious. You'd think they'd be nearby. you think they'd be right in front of your eyes so you can actually see what it does. Maybe it's up here? Doesn't seem to be. There are three of these things. I wonder if these things do something. Doesn't seem like it.
Yeah, I have no idea what that gear thing back at the uh, starting point actually does. It doesn't seem to have done anything. I mean, so far it's only repaired pillars, and the only pillar that looks like it needs repair is already repaired. What am I missing? I mean, are these like one and the same? These are the same, aren't they? Wait, so there's two separate gear spots that do the same thing? Are you kidding me? Yeah, now it's disappearing. What the hell? Okay, uh, it does also change the season. Does it change the season more to have both of these activated? Like, by turning back time even more? Let's see if it changes. No, it doesn't seem like anything changed. Okay, uh, let's see what everything looks like when none of these are activated. Let's see if the season change makes something appear. Oh, there you go. That's gotta be it, right? That's gotta be it. Okay, so, right, everything's destroyed back here. Back in this time. So, um, what does that mean? I think I know what that means. Hold on. Let me just think for a second. Okay, got it. So that is going to be the timer. That's going to be the release valve. So, I'm going to put one of these right here, where it's very easy to access. Um, is this going to work? Yes. Yeah, this is going to work. Okay. And then now... Those things are going to be built. They're not going to be destroyed. They're going to be intact, which means they're going to stop this. So I'm going to put this there. Okay, perfect. And we take this, that's going to release it, and we run. That's why it's on two sides. It's a bit confusing. It's a bit strange to have two things that do the same thing. And the purpose of that actually being in two places only becomes obvious once you've kind of solved the puzzle. So, it's, uh, it's a little bit clumsy, but I do see the purpose of it now. In the end, it makes sense, but uh, I feel like that could have been a little bit smoother. And we walk under the moonlight, across a field of, well, over a field of glowing flowers. Farewell, flowers. I will see you soon.
Whoa, look at that. That is extraordinary looking. Look at that. That's ice. You can even see the reflections from the trees. Can I go down here or do I... We there never we settled for long. After studying the climate effects of deforestation, we moved on to warmer, but definitely not greener pastures. That's where it happened. In the wrong place, and at the worst of times. Disaster struck. Look at this. <laughs> look at this. The forest, you can, oh man, look at how detailed the reflections are. You can even see a sort of like crosshatch effect in it. Look at that stark contrast of that icy void with the forest edge. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Let's see. How would it look good? If you go like this? Like have it halfway in the image? That's not quite halfway. More like that? Like this? Look at that. That is, oh my god, that's ridiculously good looking. Can even go like that. Beautiful. I'm really just in love with the environmental design in this game. There's the tree. It looks so close. But something tells me something's gonna get in the way. Seems too easy. Alright, well, before I continue on, I am going to end this episode here. I really, really like this game so far. The puzzles have been logical, and they feel pretty good to solve. And, yeah, they're just, they're quite good, and the standout is definitely, uh, it's not the puzzles. I mean, the puzzles are good, they're solid. But the environments are really what what I love so much. I just I like being in this world. I just love moving around it and just looking at it because it's ridiculously gorgeous. It is an incredible world that has been built here. Really, something just extraordinary. And that alone, you know, even if the gameplay kind of just wasn't very good, I think the environmental design alone is so strong that I would really enjoy it, but uh, it certainly helps that the the puzzles are actually quite good. The gameplay is actually very fun. Yeah, I love it so far. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.